yes so this is the front end of this script as you can see it's looking so beautiful you can see it's looking so beautiful so let's just log into a user account let's just log in so yeah i'm going to input the account number and the account password and then i would log in and then it's going to request for a login pin so i'm just going to you know put the pin if the pin is incorrect it's not going to log me in so now i am inside of the user dashboard so here is the user dashboard and as you can see you can see how beautiful the user dashboard is there's a profile picture here you can see you can make deposits transfer wire transfer you can even have a virtual card you can request for a virtual card you can request for loan you can see the transactions you have made you can please withdraw you can see you can withdraw you can even see your account manager account manager and you can have the settings and here you can see the balance you have you can also deposit from here or transfer from here it also has the limit this is user that's the limit where the admin can set the limit that you can transfer in a day or the limit of your account okay so we have the transaction ip last login date you can even view transaction transactions you have and also don't forget this script allows you to validate transaction in case the admin wants to credit you you can validate the transaction you can see these are some recently uh, made transactions on these accounts you know from shank irs grant salary you can see everything in progress one of these is in progress the admin has not approved the transaction so that is that on the admin on the user profile so let us try and you know make a transaction and just click on transfer so here is the transfer area here you just input the amount you want to transfer this is in dollars the beneficiary account name the bank name just type it the account number just put the account number you're sending to the country you're sending to just the switch code you know this can be done randomly so the routine number also just input it then the account type let's just say fixed deposit and then the narration it just puts salary then you click on transfer and then it's going to request for some code like cot code you know um verification code and all of that but i'm not sure if i remember the transfer code that was set up for this account oh so my code my code is not correct all right so i'm going to check this in the admin how you can get this in the admin all right so you just need to in case you forgot your cot code verification when you are registering your account you can message your account manager or message support to request for your cot code and you will they will help you reset it All right so this is the settings area of the website you can see my profile account settings from the user profile all right so so here are the details you feed while registering okay so this account has been registered that is why we're having this so let's just move to the advanced this is the admin area and i'm just going to log in as the admin right now yeah so this is the admin dashboard and as you can see you can see how beautiful it is so here is where you see your users you can see users then you click on all users then from here you can see the total number of users that you have so let's say you want to credit this user this time show wire you can just have to do is click on view you can click on view and then you click on that particular user so you can see the user this is the user you can see this is the account number of the user you can change it you can change the profile picture change the email you can even change the account limits here you can set the task code set the cot code you can see the cot code you can see the imf code you can set everything from the admin and update it then you can even place the user on hold like you don't want the user to access the account again you can change the user password your pin you can change everything from the admin area so you can also credit a user you can see users you can also click on credit and debit users you can credit a user all you have to do is to you know while you are here just to let the particular user you want to credit i just say thank you wire from where you want to transfer the money from just say let's say chase bank the amount to transfer let's say 200 dollars then the description let's say grants the month you know like i told you you can back it so the time let's just say 10 o'clock pm right then you can credit the user or you debit the user so you credit the user and automatically the user has been credited so we'll go back to the user account you see this is the user account 
Then let's go back to the user dashboard. Let's go back to the user dashboard. This is the user dashboard now. You can see that the money you can see now before he has 19 something and now he has 20,100 dollars. And if you see recently, recently completed transaction, you are going to see 200 dollars credit Chase Bank. Yes. So that is that on that. All right. So when 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 if I decide to deposit from here, probably I want to deposit. This is the user account again. Probably I want to deposit into the admins. I want to deposit into my bank account. You can just let the amount you want to deposit say fifty thousand dollars. Just let your method of payment. Let you to deposit with Bitcoin, and you can see the Bitcoin um, wallet address here. Then you can click on copy. So all of these you can do it from the admin area. You can just set your, you know, you can set your wallet. Set your wallet here. You know, set your wallet as an admin. How you want them to pay you deposit method. Once you come to the deposit method, you can set how you want them to pay into their bank account from here. So the other stuff, the other stuff you can do from the admin, just like cards, you can you know give cards to some particular users, allow them to have a, a debit or credit card from here. So you just click on view and then you assign them a card. All right. So there are a lot of things you can do here. You can wire transfer to a user. You know, there's wire transfer. There is transaction. You want to see transaction that has happened. You know, you can just go to credit, Amazon, a crypto transaction, domestic transaction that has happened from the front end of any of the users. So that is how this particular one works. From the user account, you can transfer, you can visit your account manager, request for virtual card, request for loan, and all of that. And then from the admin account, you can credit a user, assign virtual card to them, allow deposit method, view your user, suspend the user, and more of that from, like, from this aspect. So thank you for watching.